Welcome back. All right, I'm here with Liz, Amy, and Tom, and we're going to throw our next video up here. Uh, it comes from Liz. Liz, why did you pick this video? I love this video because it's actually telling women and moms everywhere to take a step back and appreciate the moment that we're in. It's enough with the social media, enough with the pretending, and let's live in this moment with our children. And it has something to do with body image, yes, right? Yes, it has a lot to do with body All right, image. I watched the video. This is one video I did watch before we got on. I, I, you know what? It, it almost brought me... To tears. Uh, yeah, it really did. Because you know why? It made me think of my own mother. Yeah. Um, play it. I, I'm welling up. I'm welling up watching it. I, you know, I'm a pretty tough guy, man. I can't believe I'm welling up thinking. You know why I'm, why I'm thinking about that is because um, I remember uh, growing up my entire life, my mother was always so conscientious about um, her varicose veins. Yeah. And she would take so much time to figure out how she was going to cover them up. And the rest of us were like, Ma, right. who cares? Yeah. But she cared, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. But I also, you know, it's... As a mom today, I'm not, I'm not going to say that I don't care. Of course I care. But at the same time, like, I can't spend all that time worrying about how I look on the beach. I want to be present with my kids. So I'll wear a one-piece. I'm not in a bikini. My abs are not tight anymore. One day, maybe they will be when I have enough time to spend at the gym. But for right now, it's important for me to be with the kids, to be present, to be in the sand, playing, building sandcastles, playing in the ocean, playing in the pool, and not worrying about my, you know, my perfect figure that it's not so perfect, if that makes any sense. And a lot of moms today we're finding are on social media and they're constantly worrying and they're doctoring their photos of how they look in their bikinis and their varicose veins and their boobs and their... T and it's a, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's about the time that's spent with your children. Yeah. To be present. The whole, the whole definition of being a parent is being selfless. And there's really no greater joy that you can give yourself or your child than enjoying your child. So give that gift to yourself. And like you said, live in the moment. And not only are people worried about body image, but worried about capturing like you said those pictures and posting them right away to social media and then the moment's over yes and, and, and what do you have left a picture but not a memory you don't have to yeah. worry about it. your friends are posting it on social media <laughs> and saying oh i forgot that i tagged you on that video and you look so, oh you look so great yeah we were, we were outside we were talking about this before the show and i said oh yeah i just love this so much and he goes i said and who cares nobody's watching and he goes except all the people at the pool taking videos of you yeah. Yeah. and posting I mean, them uh, look you know there, there's also something i mean there's the the, the reverse side to this that says um you know like i talked about my mom with her varicose veins or whatever uh it's driven i think largely because we do live in a society where beauty yes. is pushed yes. it's pushed non-stop in uh, our faces in our faces and i mean look i've said this before in the show i mean all four of us spent uh, 45 minutes before we were on here mm -hmm. getting makeup mm -hmm. layered on mm -hmm. so i mean you know, we can't, we can't be, and, and hair. I mean, look at Tom's hair. Look how much time they but spent the on Tom's time, hair. at the same time, you know what? We put so much pressure on ourselves, especially as moms and as women. Like, I know for a fact, I had two C-sections. My stomach, again, will never be the same. But yet, three we I see a celebrity mom, three weeks later, her abs are flat. She's in a G-string bikini, and her boobs are perfect. How does like, she do that? It's, well, but it's you know called what? That's part of her job. I don't think people understand that. When you're looking at these celebrities, part of their job is to not only be in shape, but to be in shape in front of the paparazzi, and they will place themselves at places and call the paparazzi I'm gonna be here take a picture of me but they prepare themselves this yeah, isn't this, what they look like but at this a great but at the same time some for women you know out there that are reading magazines that are looking online that could be so you know, disturbing to see think, that and it's so all, upsetting to I think yourself. we all agree that those moments are very very important not only for you but for your kids and I will I would die today to have some of those videos of my childhood and my me mother too. with me in the ocean oh, and stuff yeah. like that that's the benefit of today I mean yeah. today yeah. you are being able to capture it and and preserve it somewhere back then you had to have an 8 millimeter or a super 8 camera yeah. to preserve it so you know yeah. as a mother who's still alive but not totally with me um, you know, I would die to have those. I'm with you 100%. I'd say the other thing, too, is, you know, the, the, the one thing about the job that I, I have 
is that I've had the ability to meet a lot of celebrities over the course of time, if you want to say that. And I'll throw them out right now, ones that I know wouldn't mind me saying what I'm about to say. You look at somebody like um, Megyn Kelly, which you're not supposed to be looking at because she runs at the same time I run. <laughs> but when you watch her on like commercial, you know, she's a very, very beautiful woman. If you go to her Facebook page and look at her, I mean, she just looks like she's something that was just, I mean, wow. Strip that stuff away. I've seen her in that environment. You know, she looks nothing like that in person. You know, nothing like that in person. Another person who I met who breaks the mold, the only person ha has ever broken the mold of what I just said, was Christy Brinkley. She's, I actually she's met right. Christy Brinkley. I interviewed yeah. her and yeah. I sat next to her and I said, You are by far yeah. the most beautiful she human is. being ever and created. She's aging by God. even more beautiful. Yeah, the only way you can tell her age is by her hands. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, she's Didn't flawless. Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. know what's so it's sad is like, like I that that know women who yeah. spend all this time trying to make themselves look perfect and I mean, this isn't across the board, but a lot of women like that, they don't stay happily married. They don't ha necessarily have great families. And I know women who let themselves go and they, they don't look very good. And they have loving relationships with their husbands and beautiful families. So there's no hard and fast rule. You should feel good about yourself. Absolutely. And we shouldn't have magazines where we just have super skinny anorexic models or plus size women. Right. Put an average well, person I, I on there. Pull, I want to pull up some pictures. I mean, this is the pressure that women are pretty much under. I mean, look at this, Kim Kardashian, right? Yeah. She's got more followers on social media than anybody else, as far as I know. I mean, they're all over the place. I and mean, all she's doing all day long, look, she's in the gym, she's posing with herself, taking selfies. I mean, moms see this, she's already given birth this one, you know, and, and here she is, she's just taking pictures. I mean, the amount of pressure for a mom to but think that she needs to look like but that. But let's also think about it, and let's be smart about that. We all know, right, as smart, educated people, that that's not real. She's had how many surgeries? She's had how many liposuctions? She's gone under how many times? So we have to all like take a step back. No, that's not real. That didn't just happen two, a month later. That was a lot of airbrush. But I think you know, women are to blame also because if you're going to allow yourself to develop those types of insecurities, everybody's going to suffer. You're going to suffer. Your kids are going to suffer. Your relationships are going to suffer. So we have to also be strong within ourselves and decide, you know what, I'm going to be confident because confidence is the most beautiful thing and you will see, you will attract people to yourself if you're you know, confident. My mom, she's, she's, cur she's curvy, she's got curves and she always has growing up. She was never one of the stick figure moms where some of her friends were. And she, my mom to this day, she's 67 years old, God bless her, she's beautiful and she still exudes sexiness and I think there's some, and she's confident and even though her friends still are the, you know, very skinny or whatever, she just, my mother exudes that, she has it. So she's got it. She's got it. <laughs> it's something also important to pass down to our daughters. Yes. I yeah. mean, listen, if, if they see you reacting that you don't care the way you really look in public yeah. to a certain extent. That's the way that they're going to feel later on down the road. And I think that that's the more important lesson. Hey, listen, if I, 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 my wife watches every night, so <laughs> and here it goes. Whenever I could throw her a good one out, I throw one out. I mean, we've been together since we've been 15 years old. So when we look at the pictures of when yeah. we were young and getting married, I mean, we were both thin, we, you know, all chiseled. She was, you know, she looked like she came out of the gym every day. Now you look at us, you know, our pants are too tight. We're flopping around or whatever it may be. <laughs> but there's something very important about that. We've never shown um, any yeah. level of vanity at our home. You know, and so my daughter, who won prom queen, I mean, will just stop you in her tracks mm -hmm. without one ounce of makeup. She's beautiful. Never. Not one ounce of makeup. You put makeup on her yeah. for the prom, yeah. she wants to take it off. And so if there's something that we've done that was very smart in That's raising true. them, yeah. it was don't worry about the vanity stuff. And whenever I see, you know, if they take a selfie, she takes selfies with making funny faces yeah, and stuff like yeah. that. Never. If I saw her do what I see Kardashian do with these with these faces, I mean, I seriously, but, she'd but be in trouble. Kardashian important. needs to do it. I don't know if you've ever seen Kardashian up close. She's not as pretty as the pictures make her to be. She's been the right. pictures she's have been, been touched, airbrushed, she's airbrushed been Instagram and other than she, she does. Right, she course. knows how to take a picture that makes her look just, great. Just to your point, though, it's so important that you do that as a male figure and as a father because mm -hmm. it's not just moms that have to set the example. But a lot of the girls, they give into pressure because they want men to think they're beautiful. And these are the types of fake images that men pretend to be attracted to or are attracted to. And you need, and men need to say, you know, not all men are like that. So you're setting that example that that's not what you value.
value. And something really quick, thanks to my, my two-year-old daughter, is I always say to her, who's pretty, who's pretty? And then I always chime in, though, right after, who's smart? Who's smart? Who's the smartest? Who's right. the Because right. you know what it's back, you know, you don't want to just have, re, be raising a pretty, beautiful girl. You want to be raising a beautiful, smart, you know, Absolutely. you want to raise them up on all different levels, not just the pretty level. Let me just read out some of these numbers here, because we got, only got about a minute left. Women spend 55 minutes a day working on their appearance. That's crazy, Tom. You're, you're up to about, what, 52 minutes now? <laughs> 55 seconds. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, that, well, look, yeah, you know, the, the best part of my day is getting my makeup done, only because I love the girl who does not makeup. She's the rest awesome. of it, I can't stand <laughs> doing this thing. And then, um, as of last year, the market for treating eating disorders, $992 million. As of 2014, the diet market in U.S. was $60 billion a year. And you know what? How many of these people are actually dieting because they want to look better in a bathing suit? versus because they want to be healthy. Last, last word, you've got 10 seconds. No, it's just sad, and I think as a society, we just need to do better. All of us. I agree. Look at the women in Europe. All They're right, so listen, they during, drink wine all day. I'm with you. During, right? the, uh, during the break, go get yourself a donut and chocolate milk. Don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Have a glass of wine. We'll be back. Have some pasta.